So tonight, Arsenal have fallen to a shock 2-1 loss to RC Lens in the Champions League. And here are my full-time thoughts. And just a small side note before I do get started as well, uh, this video might be a little bit shorter than usual and a little bit less detailed just because I was out filming for a university assignment tonight and was only able to watch the first 15 or 20 minutes of the game. Anyway, let's get into it. And as I mentioned in my last video, this was never going to be an easy place to come for Arsenal. This was in fact Lenz's first Champions League home game in over 20 years and it was safe to say the place was absolutely bouncing. You could see the crowd get behind the home team straight from the off and they really did drive them forwards and Lenz actually got off to a really good start and had quite a few dangerous looking chances early on. But it was Arsenal who broke the deadlock first though, with Gabriel Jesus giving the Gunners an early lead after Bakayo Saka did well to intercept a loose pass at the back. It was a really clinical finish by Jesus and I thought he did really well to keep his composure in the one-on-one -on -one situation and he just gave the keeper no chance burying the ball in the bottom left-hand corner. However, Arsenal's lead didn't last long as RC Lenz were able to equalise within 15 minutes through Adrian Thomason. Now, from a Lenz perspective, that goal was just unbelievable. The finish into the top right corner was just beautiful but from an Arsenal perspective, the goal was just so poor. Now, I don't want to take anything away from the goal because it really was great, but David Rice's pass in the build-up was just awful. It was so sloppy and so easily intercepted, and I thought Arsenal just made it way too easy to allow Lens to turn the chance into a goal-scoring opportunity. Obviously, I don't think anyone in an Arsenal shirt exactly had a great game tonight, but I'm hearing from a lot of different people that David Rice had a game to forget. Lens then went on to take the lead with about 20 minutes to go. It was a really well-worked goal, finished off by Elia Wahi. And I just don't think Arsenal ever really got out of second gear in that second half and were just unable to come up with a reply. However, the worst thing about tonight for Arsenal was not the result. It was in fact Bakayo Saka's injury. He was taken off in the first half and after the game, Mikel Arteta said that he had felt something after a back heel. Of course, the severity of that injury is still unknown. However, I can't still really understand why Saka was started in this game, especially after he was forced off with an injury in the Bournemouth game on Saturday. The Gunners will be praying that Saka is fit for Sunday as they take on Manchester City at the Emirates Stadium in probably their biggest game of the season so far. It really is a must-win game for Arsenal if they are to be title contenders again this season. Anyway, that's it for my full-time thoughts, RC Lens 2, Arsenal 1. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and check back on Sunday for my next video.